Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK if it's the first time you're passing through and you feel like you are interested in the content I produce, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, for my existing subscribers, welcome again. Um, thank you for your loyalty and thank you for your comments. Um, today's a very short video. It's about um, Thompson Airways um, going bust. Why would I be interested in that? Ma mainly because Thompson was taken over, well, TUI has got a 59% share in Thompson, um, Thomas Cook, I keep saying Thompson Airways, sorry, Thomas Cook. And as you know, or may not know, Thomas Cook has gone into administration as of tomorrow. If they do not raise 200 million by tomorrow, they've already been given a 600 million um, grant to bring back 100, between 150 and 160,000 stranded passengers around the world. Um, Tunisia, they are holding passengers, um, guests hostage in their hotels, saying that um, they've got to pay extra for the hotel that they're in. I mean, people are already distressed and they're holding them hostage. Apparently, they've got soldiers there holding them in the hotel, telling them they've got to pay extra money. So it's not very good for Thomas Cook at the moment. Um, but TUI, for those of you who are flying out to Jamaica on a TUI flight, I don't think you have to panic yet. From what I understand, TUI is responsible you know, for bringing back some of the um, stranded passengers. Um, I don't know how many, but they are responsible for bringing back some because, like I said, they've got a 59% share in Thomas Cook, which tells me that they are not, their flights are not affected. So we're going to keep our ears to the ground and make sure that if you are flying this week, just make sure you get in touch with your um, travel agent um, before traveling to Gatwick because I mean from some places it can cost up to a hundred pounds to go to Gatwick and can you imagine going all the way up there and then finding out that the flight isn't going isn't leaving or hanging around for hours not knowing only be t only to be told hours later that it's not leaving I was watching airline this afternoon on CBS and you know I was looking at some of those people they were so desperate to leave some people were getting married some people haven't met hadn't sorry hadn't met their partners for such a long time some for some it was a reunion for some they had to go for a new job and they were just stranded and in the end, the airline just shut the customer service because they couldn't cope with the number of people. And so, yeah, it can be quite daunting and it can also be daunting. I think it'd be more daunting for those who are already out there and have to come back unless, of course, you've got lots and lots of money and you don't mind staying out there forever. But for those of people who have got a job and they need to get back within a certain time, might have childcare or whatever, arrangements they need they do need to get back and to be stranded in different parts of the world and not really budgeting um, for that overstay it could be quite difficult so at the moment I think TUI flights are okay um, even though they are a part of Thomas Cook um, Thomas Cook is 178 years old and apparently is one of the most successful travel agencies. So for it to go bust, then apparently they're blaming it on, you know, people not um, buying pack package holidays anymore and stuff like that. You know, I think it's a lot of Brexit. I think it's got a lot to do with Brexit, but people just do not want to spend money unnecessarily until they know what's going on. So that might have something to do with it. Um, let me make sure I've covered everything. Yeah, the government is making preparations to bring back 150,000 Britons. It's got a 600 million government plan to do that. Uh, falling into administration on Monday if it doesn't if Thomas Cook doesn't raise 200 million um, TUI Travel was a British leisure group formed in 2007 by a merger of first choice holidays and then they've now they merged with Thomas Cook um, Thomas Cook need 900 million funding which is up from 150 million what they'd asked for before um, 
Tui is Thomas Cook's parent company, which tells me that Thomas Cook is just a small part of Tui, which is reassuring for those going on Tui flights. Um, 9,000 jobs are at risk. 150,000 holidaymakers could be stranded. And so that's all I'm going to really say for now. Like I said, keep your ears to the ground if you are going on a TUI flight this this week or, you know, over the next few weeks up until um, October, up until the end of Brexit. Just double check that um, Thomas Cook's um, situation hasn't affected TUI negatively such that their flights are not leaving. OK, and that's all for now. Bye bye.